Well, as you mentioned, Africa is quite diverse. Uh, we have tropical humid forest in the Congo Basin to dry forest in the Sahel. And we also have a, um, a temperate uh, forest along the, 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 the Great Rift Valley. And uh, so it's, uh, the, the climate itself is quite diverse. And people are, and culture are also diverse. Vegetations are, our types are so diverse. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to tailor make, made the, um, the, the approach with respect to the, the specific situation of the, the place that we are working. Well, I, I think, you know, we, we should go back to the in International Tropical Timber Agreement. The, 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 I think it, it, against these, the, the core mandates of uh, International Tropical Timber Organization, I think there are two things that ITTO should continue to focus on. One is the um, uh, legal supply chain development of the forest products. And the other is the uh, landscape uh, restoration uh, in Africa. Uh, um, the as you as you as you, as you see, um, uh, as far as um, let's say a league. A le legal supply chain development is concerned. Uh, there are two key issues. One is you have to uh, to make sure that you know how much forest we have and what they and how much they grow and how much we can harvest. And the other, as a second, uh, the uh, uh, the other side is that the market. Um, I guess the regarding the, the the forest resources, I think it's important to to periodically conduct forest resource assessment, which is not that easy. But now the uh, climate change um, agenda requires greenhouse gas inventories uh, periodically, and that requires forest cover assessment and the national forest inventory, which will help. Uh, us, uh, I, uh, the, the countries to to to, to periodically monitor uh, the, the the forest resources that are available, and uh, the, as far as uh, market is concerned, um, it's it's also important to make sure that uh, the timber uh, the the um, the 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 timber is on on, on the official market. Uh, uh, even if you just co simply conduct, uh, announce the, the, the logging ban, then, but demand is there, and in Africa, the economy is so gr growing so fast, the, the, the timber will, will go, go to the underground market, an unof unofficial market. So then, then the government will lose its opportunity for revenue, and um, the, the the market price of the timber will will keep will, will remain low, and we can't capture the the, the market um, in the statistics. Uh, as far as um, landscape restoration is concerned, uh, there there are also um, two things. One is that um, in the landscape there are various issues, not just uh, uh, timber, but also poverty, water climate change, biodiversity, and so on. So uh, we're going to have to consider all, all different uh, uh, sustainable development goals into account when we design the landscape restoration. And um, we also need to make sure that uh, the, it, the, the, it will be a participatory uh, approach so that that will benefit from the planning to the implementation so that the, the people who are there will be happy with. And also it needs to be supported by policies. So the engagement of both uh, the, the communities and the policy makers are quite essential. And it has to be a process-oriented approach.